You are a man. Shut the fuck up. Do you know what the you want to say? Oh! Don't worry about me, I'm a god. First, to begin, just because someone can't do better doesn't mean they aren't allowed to give criticism. Especially when it comes to things that are for entertainment. Things like music, performances and art in general are made for the consumer and therefore, the consumer should be allowed to give commentary on it. You have to be dense to think that things are worthy of an opinion if someone can't do said thing they're commenting on. We wouldn't have any evolution of art if that was the case. Second opinion. I find the way people ignore the glaring issue with Wuchi Aljo, aka SM's art director for the uninformed, and his constant plagiarism, especially when it comes to episode unsettling. Especially when people ignore it to climb over mountains to say SM is the most creative company when it comes to concepts. Like yeah it's not hard to be creative when all of your ideas come off a Pinterest with no actual credit to the original artist. I also find the way they settle these issues to be annoying. Instead of firing Woody all, releasing a statement or doing anything to reprimand his behavior, they will ignore it and then months later compensate the artist. It's like why do you have to wait until after an artist calls you out to correct your mistakes? Why not just work with people outside of your company to bring a vision you clearly desperately want? I also think Woody Alja lacks versatility and y'all are giving him entirely too much flowers. If you look at the best work the company has offered, Minhijin's involvement speaks volumes to the quality and the actual artistic integrity being kept it. I mean the drastic difference between Red Velvet's art direction for Queen de Mer V. Their past work speaks. The music video lacks any actual substance and the concept was all over the place. Don't get me started on the very new The Homecoming concept photos. I've been wanting to say it for a while but the man is a little visual terrorist. He will receive no flowers on this account. B tomato tomato tomato. Third opinion, with that being said, even if Rome is copied twice, they did it better. It's time for y'all to admit that Twice's concepts are hot garbage. Nothing is ever planned out, the storylines they go with are nonsensical and everything is very surface level. They can do so much, considering they are money makers and yet still, no money making ass from us being able to replicate their shit bar for bar. At that point, I'm not looking at From as crazy, I'm looking at Jipe's art director nuts. Like for example, From as underscore 9 did a social media theme and stretched it out for two eras. They incorporated it in the teasers and in the music video. Twice did the same theme, only truly carried it out in the teasers and the music video's flimsy ass message of being yourself barely makes sense or is executed enough for the average viewer to pick up that message. Or twice clearly doing a needin theme with more and more but it going absolutely nowhere, and giving more camp rock than need the reality. Or them going with a retro theme for eyes wide open, abandoning the sound halfway through the album, halfway through the concept pictures not to mention fighting to connect it to their previous era for? Like nothing twice does ever makes sense so no, I will not be booing Fromis for taking twice's flimsy ass ideas and actually making it correlate. I can honestly go all day speaking about the many failures of TWICE's concepts, whoever is their creative director is awful and has a peanut for their brain. Say whatever you want about ITZY's music, the concepts at the very least have been competent. Maybe it's time to merge the damn divisions together and share ideas. Fourth opinion, while I don't think every comeback release needs a storyline, it makes my eye twitch when K-pop stands try to be passive aggressive when people point out a music video just being 50 clips of a group dancing. I've seen someone go as far as to argue so what if the music videos don't have a story or message, most of them are just random clips thrown together by the company and the fans reach to make something be there. It makes me cringe just like the poor social media intern joke that people still use. Companies hire creative directors, the company itself are not the ones making the concept, they simply green light it. That's one. Being an art, creative director is an important job, it's not just someone throwing in random clips or references together and hoping fans make something of it. Not saying that doesn't exist but I notice more amongst gay pop stands that the ones who don't have the patience or simply don't care about the story will start giving pushback on one existing. 
it's irritating. If you don't care about it, fine whatever. But don't start dunking on niggas saying there's no meaning to shit just because you don't want to put two and two together. There are art directors in certain companies that do put their foot into concepts and details and y'all discrediting them with this bullshit pisses me off so clean. Fifth opinion, K-pop stands not giving Olivia Rodrigo her flowers for what she's done for K-pop art direction is also working me because yes, Twice definitely got the prom high school concept from her and you're insane if you think they didn't. Look at their previous school concepts, look at the feels. Not even the same vibe whatsoever. And Rose definitely got her shit from Olivia too, Blink's truly the most deluded and evil niggas of them all. Will Gresfar is saying female idols getting pink streaks in their damn head was because of Jenny but let us point out Rose's little scrapbook idea was a rip from Olivia, fire in the hole, Titanic sinking again and World War 4 starting. She truly reminded these girls that high school longs existed cause previously that concept was dead as only for the nukes while the main girls was still doing boring ass, outdated ass girl crush music with the most boring plain sets and concepts. No I got your tea so me, don't even worry. Everybody in YG will be burning in hell, I'll make sure of it. Sixth opinion, this isn't about gay pop it's about K-Tube. Stop giving these artists Y2K comebacks and you're giving blank artist a comeback, album videos. Y'all be giving these shits to literally anybody like please explain to me why Kep Warner needs a Y2K concept. And it's always the same aesthetic too, like you on my nigga let that go. It's never going to happen babe. Also not to be like the millennials because I personally don't believe we should gatekeep here as we grew up in but genuinely some of y'all doing these Y2K inspired pop comeback videos be 15 and shit. Babe you weren't even conscious when shit was getting popping, in fact by time you was 5, it was already on its way out. You have not done research so you're just going off of what TikTok says Y2K is and maybe Pinterest. That's why them videos turning out awful as fuck. You don't know what you're doing. Like damn. Cut it out please. I'm tired of seeing them and you bitches who hype them up in the comments are going to hell. Seventh opinion, y'all will call any concept quirky and I need you to cut it out. It'd be the most same shit you like no twice a scientist is not quirky. Good concept does not automatically equal quirky. Bright colors in a comeback does not automatically equal quirky. With that being said though. Just because someone does come back with a quirky concept doesn't automatically mean that we should stone them for not tuning in. I have to remind myself of this too but quirky concepts will literally never be mainstream or popular. That's simply the point, it's unique. It will always be sort of a niche concept and I think instead of lashing out at everybody for not enjoying quirky concepts or not giving it as much appreciation as other concepts, we should just simply show appreciation for it ourselves. Not to mention. Some artists already understand that because they aren't doing a mainstream concept, their attention will be more focused on the crowd that enjoys them rather than aiming for huge success. If this wasn't the case then we just sold nothing to come and their flop ass 8k sales on debut was not getting no comeback girl. Like it's okay, let's just enjoy the music and time we have with them. Speaking of Chakum, 8 opinion, sometimes y'all miss the point of a concept with your commentary on it. For example, I've heard so many tubers say that Starship didn't put money into Chakum's comeback and girl, I disagree so bad. First of all, even if they had all the budget in the world, the music video would look exactly the same. That's the point of the concept, it's supposed to be low budget and campy. If they were in the music video looking like the goddamn Avengers, I would tune out so quickly. It's all wink and poke. You are not supposed to take it too seriously, we're having fun and being silly. Even then, the notion that they didn't put any money into their comeback is so ridiculous considering they hired MU underscore Gung for the photo shoot. The photo book album was well designed, they had a little Twitter badge and the styling, which everyone had been praising, was out of this world. Honest to God, it looks like Chakum got more money for their comeback than WJS and did for Unnatural. This is honestly a complaint that tooks me off a lot when it comes to commentary on quirky concepts, People did it with Umpa Umpa as well. Them being at a fake beach on a set increases the very imaginative feel of it. If they were on a real beach, like they planned, it just wouldn't feel fun anymore. I don't know, I'm just tired of people pointing out the obvious. Quirky concepts are never going to have the visual budget of girl crush type of concepts. 
Different concepts require different execution for a reason, let's stop interpreting them through the same lenses please. Ninth opinion, SM has not had a good logo since 2019. At first I was going to give them credit for Irene and Selgi's group logo but they lose points from me because they simply repeated that concept for Wendy and Joyce. It ruined it for me completely. Everything has just been a miss to me, I was displeased even with NCT's logos and I personally feel like they get the best in terms of art direction so. I'd say Shiny's Atlantis is the last time I visibly smiled at anything from their camp. Absolutely hated Next Level's logo and Savage's logo is so blatantly inspired by Chrome logos on Pinterest that I'm 1000% sure if Witchy All Joe's board got leaked again, we'd find at least 20 of them. Queendom's logo makes me straight up want to vomit, way too cutesy for an album that's the opposite. Queen's archive font was making me itch. Espa's logo is the only thing I've grown to love. I like the medieval feel of the typography paired with the chrome. It's too bad only Brian Green had the common sense to bring those elements to their visual work with next level opposed to these nasty ass, bland assets that SM has been pushing into their cinematography. Tenth and final opinion, SM's set design team needs to be fired, in fact, clear out the entire staff at this point. Espa's sets are such an eyesore to look at, none have any soul or feeling to it, most having no visual meaning. The only ones I've enjoyed so far was their spaceship in Next Level and the one with the eye in Savage. How are you going to have a group whose whole shit revolves around futurism then build them these cheap candy cane looking sets that look like you bought them 50% off in Jipe's backyard sale? Honestly for every complaint I've seen about a company not putting enough budget into a concept, I feel like I don't see enough when it comes to ISPA. I think because they beat us upside the head with so much content that people are satisfied but I am not. It's been 5 releases now and the AIs have not changed their clothes once, which is an eyesore because the clothes they do have is genuinely awful. The AIs need more budget, not sure why they decked this out and made her a baddie but the 4 robots we have to see 24-7 look like porn models. Also being that the AIs are not Hespa, I genuinely do not understand why they don't have separate names instead. It's so dumb, I hate the entire concept. It's so thrown together and y'all applaud it every time like oh my god, I'm going insane. Dreams Come True is also just as bad because why would you go out of your way to remaster the original music video, do an updated cover for the song and not use the same concept but modernize it for us for lore. Like everyone in the company has one bean for a brain, whatever I'm done speaking. Also don't ask me why I'm not giving men licks. Bitch I'm not sitting through sticker by NCT127 to give commentary on why the concept is ass. Bye. Who the fuck is it? You're a state funny moron from Cape. That's it, okay? That's all I gotta say.